Shelby County District Attorney candidate Steve Mulroy received an endorsement from the families of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and others impacted by police brutality. WRG's Jordan James has more on their visit to the Bluff City. As early voting continues, one word. Vote. Vote. Endorsements continue to pour in for both candidates in the race for Shelby County District Attorney. I never gave up on justice for my son and neither did Amy Wyrick. From the mother of Lorenzen Wright to now the families of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor and Jacob Blake who came to Memphis Friday to endorse Steve Mulroy. What are you going to do, Memphis? Yeah. Yeah. Vote. Are you going to sit around on your hands or are you going to get up and vote? I personally support Steve Mulroy. Yeah. The visit from these families impacted by police brutality comes amid an investigation into the Oakland Police Department in nearby Fayette County after a traffic stop turned violent, leaving many to question the use of force, including these families. We have to change it from the grassroots. We're not going to change anything screaming at buildings. We're not going to change anything screaming at a computer screen, right? These boots right here get on the ground. While one of the officers involved has been placed on leave, Bianca Austin, Breonna Taylor's aunt, says incidents like these show there is still work to be done. It's important for us to travel not only just to keep our, our, our family legacy and memory going while we fight for accountability um, and justice for our families, but it's also that we, we speak up on community violence. While both candidates may have a difference in opinion on policies, one thing that is not up for debate is the importance of voting. If we show up, we will win. Reporting in Memphis, Jordan James, WREG, News Channel 3. Now, early voting runs until July 30th, and Election Day is August 4th. For more on this race and others, just head to our website, WREG.com.